Wednesday, students. Join me as I learn how to count, solve, and enjoy math. This is Teacher Joel, and welcome to our class. A triangle is one of the most common geometrical shapes found around us. It consists of three sides containing three angles within. For today's session, we will talk about theorems on triangle inequalities. Are you ready to learn with me? Come on, and let us begin our number four journey. As we learn about triangle inequalities, we will answer these two questions. First, what are the theorems on triangle inequalities? Second, what are the things to remember in proving triangle inequalities? Come on, let's start answering these questions. Consider triangle ACT. Its sides, angles, and vertices are the following. Sides are side AC, side CT, and side AT. The angles are angle ACT or angle C, angle CAT or angle A, and angle CTA or angle T. The vertices are endpoints C, A, and T. While an exterior angle is an angle formed by a side of a triangle and an extension of the adjacent side, the exterior angle drawn and the angle adjacent to it form a linear pair. The other two interior angles not adjacent to the exterior angle are called remote interior angles corresponding to the exterior angle. Consider triangle ACE. The table shows the exterior angles and their corresponding remote interior angles. Exterior angles at vertex E are angle 4 and angle 5. Exterior angles at vertex C are angle 6 and angle 7. Exterior angles at vertex A are angle 8 and angle 9. Meanwhile, the remote interior angles at vertex E are angle 1 and angle 2. The remote interior angles at vertex C are angle 2 and angle 3. And the remote interior angles at vertex A are angle 1 and angle 3. Now, let's discuss theorems that involve inequalities in one or two triangles. The exterior angle inequality theorem tells us that the measure of an exterior angle of a triangle is greater than the measure of either of its corresponding remote interior angles. Let's try this example. From the figure, angle 6 is an exterior angle to triangle DFE. Thus, the remote interior angles angle 5 and angle 8 are smaller than angle 6. Further, since angle 5 and angle 3 are vertical angles and hence congruent, so must have angle 3 is also smaller than angle 6. The greater side or the greater angle theorem tells us that if two sides of a triangle are unequal, then the angles opposite them are also unequal, and the larger angle is opposite the longer side. Look at this triangle. The sides in increasing order are sides ED, EF, and DF. By the greater side or greater angle theorem, the angles from smallest to largest are angle F, angle D, and angle E. The greater angle or greater side theorem tells us that if two angles of a triangle are unequal, then the sides opposite them are unequal, and the longer side is opposite the larger angle. Check this out! Since the sum of the interior angles in a triangle is 180 degrees, with angle A equals 58 degrees, thus, the angles in increasing order are 40 degrees, 58 degrees, and 82 degrees. By the greater angle or greater side theorem, the sides from shortest to longest are sides AC, CB, and AB. The triangle inequality theorem tells us that the sum of the lengths of any two sides of a triangle is greater than the length of the third side. Take a look at this problem. The lengths of the two sides of a triangle are 3 and 10. Give the range of the possible lengths of the third side. 
let the third side have length x. By the triangle inequality theorem, the following inequalities must be satisfied. 3 plus 10 is greater than x. x plus 3 is greater than 10. And x plus 10 is greater than 3. Equivalently, x is less than 13. x is greater than 7. And x is greater than negative 7. To satisfy all three inequalities, then x is greater than 7 but less than 13. The Hinge Theorem tells us that if two sides of one triangle are congruent to two sides of another triangle, but the included angle of the first triangle is larger than the included angle of the second triangle, then the third side of the first triangle is longer than the third side of the second triangle. Look at this triangle. In triangle ACB and triangle ACD, side BC is congruent to side BC. Side AC is congruent to side AC. And angle 1 is greater than angle 2. Using the Hinge theorem, we have side AB is greater than side AD. Now, let's try to answer these questions. Soham wants to decorate his triangular flag with a ribbon. The two sides of the flag are 7 meters and 2 meters. How much ribbon is required for the third side? Let x be the length of the third side. Applying the triangle inequality theorem, we can say that the length of x, which is the third side, is less than the sum of the other two sides. We now have the following inequalities. 7 meters plus 2 meters is greater than x, therefore, 9 meters is greater than x. x plus 7 meters is greater than 2 meters, therefore, x is greater than negative 5 meters. x plus 2 meters is greater than 7 meters. Therefore, x is greater than 5 meters. So, the third side must be greater than 5 meters but less than 9 meters. Therefore, the length of the ribbon is between 5 meters and 9 meters. This time, show that angle B is greater than angle C. Since side AC is larger than side AB, we can take a point D on side AC such that side AB is equal to side AD, as shown here. In triangle ABD, since side AB is equal to side AD, using the greater side or greater angle theorem, we can know that the angles opposite these equal sides must be equal. Angle ABD is equal to angle ADB. Now, Note that angle ADB is an exterior angle for triangle BDC, which means that angle ADB is greater than angle C. Thus, angle ABD is greater than angle C. Finally, since angle B must be greater than angle ABD, we have angle B is greater than angle C. Consider the triangle, for which it is given that angle B is greater than angle C. We have to show that side AC is greater than side AB. Using the greater angle or greater side theorem, we know that two angles of a triangle are unequal, then the greater angle has the greater side opposite to it. AC cannot be equal to AB. Since then, angle B would have been equal to angle C. Similarly, side AC cannot be less than side AB. 
since then angle B would have been less than angle C. Thus, the only possibility is that side AC is greater than side AB. Which of angle 5, angle 3, and angle 1 has the largest measure? Using the exterior angle inequality theorem, we can know that the measure of an exterior angle of a triangle is greater than the measure of either of its corresponding remote interior angles. Since angle 5 is an exterior angle of a triangle, with angle 1 and angle 3 as remote interior angles, Then the measurement of angle 5 is greater than the measurement of angle 1 and angle 3. So, angle 5 has the largest measure of the three angles. Which is the largest angle and the largest side in this figure? If triangle ABC is equilateral, side CD is congruent to side DB, and measurement of angle D is greater than the measurement of angle A, it follows from the hinge theorem that sides CD and DB are shorter than the equal sides AC, BC, and AB. This is because measurement of angle D is greater than 60 degrees, and angle DCB is congruent to angle DBC, so each measures less than 60 degrees. Therefore, angle D is the largest angle in triangle CDB, which makes side CB the largest side in that triangle. You did great, students! Now, let's go back to our two questions earlier. The theorems on triangle inequalities are Exterior Angle Inequality Theorem, the Greater Side or Greater Angle Theorem, the greater angle or greater side theorem, triangle inequality theorem, and the hinge theorem. The exterior angle inequality theorem tells us that the measure of an exterior angle of a triangle is greater than the measure of either of its corresponding remote interior angles. The greater side or greater angle theorem tells us that if two sides of a triangle are unequal, then the angles opposite them are also unequal, and the larger angle is opposite the longer side. The greater angle or greater side theorem tells us that if two angles of a triangle are unequal, then the sides opposite them are unequal, and the longer side is opposite the larger angle. The triangle inequality theorem tells us that the sum of the lengths of any two sides of a triangle is greater than the length of the third side. Finally, the hinge theorem tells us that if two sides of one triangle are congruent to two sides of another triangle, but the included angle of the first triangle is larger than the included angle of the second triangle, then the third side of the first triangle is longer than the third side of the second triangle. You're fantastic! I hope you learned a lot about triangle inequalities today. If you did, click thumbs up and share this video to help young learners like you to count, solve, and enjoy math. Don't forget to click the subscribe button. Again, this is Teacher Jarel and see you on our next number 4 Wednesday.